Hi, my name is Daniel Manford. I'm the membership manager at the Auckland Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for coming tonight. Uh, I'm going to give a presentation on some of the key benefits of chamber membership, but I'm going to keep it brief because I don't want to detract from the main purpose of this evening, which is really about networking. So let's see what I can do to help facilitate that process. Why don't you turn to the person next to you, preferably someone who you've not yet spoken to this evening, flash them your biggest, brightest smile and shake their hand. Could you do that, please? <laughs> Listen, the person you just spoke to, the person you just smiled at, could be the person you are doing business with tomorrow. That is the power of networking, and that is the power of chamber membership. Okay, let's see a show of hands. How many people here before tonight had heard of the Auckland Chamber of Commerce? Almost all of you. And how many of those people feel you've got a solid understanding of the benefits of membership? You have one, we've got two, perhaps three, a few more down the back. Anyway, I think there's an opportunity here for me to share with you a little bit more information about the Chamber. So let's start at the beginning. The Auckland Chamber of Commerce is New Zealand's oldest and largest business association. We've been helping businesses just like yours for over 150 years. We're a not-for-profit organisation. We exist for one reason and one reason alone, and that is to help our members succeed. We've got approximately 6,000 members. 75% of those are businesses of 10 or fewer staff. The other 25% are all the big guys from Fonterra down. We're part of a network of 30 other chambers of commerce around the country, and collectively we've got 22,000 members. That's 22,000 businesses. It's a pretty decent chunk of the marketplace. And I guess that's the question. What are those businesses currently getting that you're missing out on? Let me break this down for you. There are four key reasons why businesses join the Chamber of Commerce, and they stem from underlying weaknesses or areas of risk within the New Zealand economy. The first is demand. Demand for your products and services. New Zealand is a small place. There's a limited number of people that you can sell to, and some very challenging geographic barriers to getting your product out. By being a member of the Chamber of Commerce, we can help. The second reason is about compliance. It's risky, it's expensive, and potentially disastrous if you get it wrong. But the challenge really is to get informed about it. And by being a member of the Chamber of Commerce, we can help mitigate that risk. The third reason why businesses join is about skills. We're currently operating in a skills shortage. It's difficult to find good people, but by being a Chamber member, we can help you find those people in the first place and grow them from within your organisation through training. And the fourth reason why businesses join is all about cost. The cost of doing business is going up. It's getting expensive out there and smart business people are looking at ways of saving money. By being a Chamber member, we can help. So let me go through each one of those in a little bit more detail. The first was demand. By being a Chamber member, we can grow demand for your products and services through networking opportunities, through promotional opportunities, and through international trade opportunities. Networking is still the most cost-effective way of growing your business. At the Chamber, we've got over 60 events a year, and each one of those is an opportunity to get in front of other business decision makers, have a conversation, make an impression, swap business cards, invite them out for a cup of coffee, do business. It's as simple as that. It's a proven formula and it works. So let me give you some examples. The first is our changing tables format. This is an event series that we try to run once a month that costs $15 to attend. You get 35 people in a room and you sit them around a series of tables. It's like speed dating for business. Each business person has two minutes to talk about their business, and as you work your way around each table, and as you work your way around that room, you are collecting business cards. You are stuffing business cards into your pockets, and at the end of that event, you've got 35 people who are now aware of who you are, what it is that you sell, and where your brand. 35 people who you can add to your Rolex. It's as simple as that. Let me give you one more example, and that's Business Club. That's an event series that we try to hold twice a year. 
It's the other end of the spectrum. It's free to come along and you get anywhere from 300 to 400 people in the room. The great thing about Business Club is you can also take a tabletop expo stand. That costs as little as $150. Now, I'm a former business owner myself and I've used this format to grow my business. The name of the DA game is to, to get out from behind that expo stand, to position yourself in the corridor. So as you see that wall of humanity kind of descending upon you, you know, put a big smile on your face and you can talk to as many people as you can. You can hand out as much collateral as you can. You can receive as many business cards as you can. And at the end of that event, you've now got potentially hundreds of people that you can add to your database. Hundreds of people that you can add to your newsletter. It's as simple as that. It's a proven formula and it works. But the fact that you come here tonight indicates to me that you already understand the benefits of networking, so let me move along. Promotional opportunities. Now people are looking pretty hard at their marketing budgets at the moment, but for marketing to be successful it needs to be targeted and it needs to be cost effective. And at the Chamber of Commerce we can deliver those things. So let me give you some examples. The first is our direct member to member mail out service. This allows you to send either a personalised or non-personalised letter to other business people, to other chamber members. You start by slicing and dicing the database. You say businesses of a certain size, in a certain geographic location, of a certain business type. You send them that letter, but then we also give you a list of names and numbers so that you can follow up with a phone call. Because I'm sure I don't need to tell you that direct marketing is only really successful if you have that personal contact. And at the chamber, we can help deliver that. We've also got a number of advertising opportunities. We've got two key publications at the Chamber. The first is Be Innovative magazine, 52-page colour magazine. Uh, comes out five times a year. We've also got the Be Ahead savings platform. Now, the great thing about Be Ahead is for as little as $100, you can offer a special deal or discount to other Chamber members. Give them a financial reason to do business with you. Now, both Be Ahead as well as the Be Innovative magazine go up to a readership of over 12,000 business people from Taupo to Northland. So really great coverage. When you become a Chamber member, you also get a free listing in our online directory of members, www.businesssearchnz.com. It's a place where you can come and you can upload your own content, your own pictures, your own contact details, where you can put a link back to your website. It's a link which will then generate some traffic, some interest in your business. And if you wish to upgrade that listing for greater prominence, that's a decision that you can make. We've also got a number of other expo opportunities, as well as a chance to host your own networking function, very similar to this one, called Business After Fives. I've talked about you know, growing your business through networking, using promotional opportunities to grow your business, and the third part of that business growth trifecta are international trade opportunities. There are 22,000 Chambers of Commerce around the world. If the Auckland Chamber has 6,000 members, can you imagine how many businesses are involved internationally? I suggest to you that is a very, very large number. We are the world's biggest business association. And by being a Chamber member, we can help either get you into exporting or support you if you're currently there. We can help you by putting you in touch with other Chambers internationally. We can help you with letters of introduction so you can lend some credibility to your business when you're trading overseas. We can help you with advice and support and information. We can help move your product from A to B with certificates of origin and other international trade documentation. But what I'm really excited about is the opportunity with China. As I'm sure you're aware, we have a free trade agreement with China and it's a huge opportunity for New Zealand. And if you want to leverage that opportunity, join the Chamber of Commerce. We've got experts on staff, people who have got a background trading with, with that region of the world. People who you can come to for advice and support and information and regular market updates. People you can come to for a Mandarin interpretation service. Even uh, a service that you can go to to get your Chinese free trade agreement certificates of origin so you can get the benefit of the tariff discounts when you're trading with that area. Okay, we've talked about growing your business through the Chamber. The second key reason why businesses join is about compliance, or rather, the risk associated with compliance. Compliance is risky because it's constantly changing. In the last 12 months, we've seen the changes to the Holidays Act. We've gone from three weeks to four weeks annual leave. We've seen the introduction of KiwiSaver. So now all new staff need to be signed up to it, and we have to contribute to those schemes. We've seen a change in the, in the various tax rates. Got one more example for you. Let's pretend that my biggest customer is looking a little bit shaky. I don't know, they could be a finance company. So what do I do to protect that debt? 
They owe me a pile of money. How do I protect the debt? What's the Personal Property Securities Act and how can it help me? These are the questions we get every single day at the Chamber. And you know what? We help. We help by providing information. Because information is power and we can help empower you. We empower you with information at our events with subject matter experts. We empower you with information on our website where you can download employment contract templates, FAQs, how-to guides. We empower you with information with our magazine, five free issues a year and each one packed full of useful practical information. But most importantly, we empower you with our 0800 business advice line, that's 0800 Chamber. It's a place where you can come and you can get all that abstract information and apply it to a specific problem within your organization. Get the questions answered that you have. And my advice to you is get advice early, especially in employment situations. Get the process right from day one, because further downstream, it's going to get far more expensive if you get it wrong. Okay, I've talked about growing your business to the chamber. I've talked about eliminating some of the risk in your business with the chamber. The third reason why businesses join the chamber is about the skills shortage. It's a structural issue with the economy. It's difficult to find good people. So as a business owner, what do you do if you can't fill that role? Well, you've really got three options. Either you pay more, which is inflationary, it's expensive, it's a risk to your business, or you can upskill someone from within your organization, give them, you know, invest in them, give them the skills they need. They're more likely to be retained in the long run and you can get more productivity out of them, so that's fantastic. Or you can expand your recruitment practices to incorporate other groups in society who you're not currently reaching. And by being a Chamber member, we can help you do those things. We've got a training department at the Chamber. We offer courses in things like sales, customer service, time management, people management, stress management, and the list goes on and on. We think training is so important to your business that we're giving all Chamber members this year $450 worth of free training vouchers. That's one free full day or two free half days of training. For many of you, that is more than the value of your membership in free training. That's how important we think it is. We also run a free recruitment service at the Chamber. Most jobs are still found through word of mouth, through personal or professional networks. And there are groups within society who simply don't have those networks in place. One example are new Kiwis, people who are new to the country, they've got great skills and experience, great attitude. They just don't have the network, so they're underutilized, they're underemployed. This is a great resource for business. So we put up a website, www.newkiwis.co.nz. It's a place where thousands of these people have uploaded their CVs. It's a place where you as an employer can come and you can search for the talent that you need, for the skills that you need. It's a place where you can advertise your job vacancies completely free of charge. Another group are parents who have returned to the workplace. Again, great skills, great experience. They've just been out of the loop for a while. They don't have the networks in place. So the message is, if you've got a job vacancy, if you need to find someone, give us a call. Let us know and we'll see whether there's someone that we can place into employment with you. We've got a work experience program where some of these people are prepared to work at no cost for a number of weeks so that you can try before you buy, so you can take some of the risk out of the equation. We've also got a cadet program based out of Manukau, where we're putting South Auckland youth into jobs. But you can see we've got a number of projects and plans to help solve that skill shortage. I've talked about growing your business with the Chamber, I've talked about removing some of the risk in your business with the Chamber, and I've talked about tools to help solve the skill shortage. The fourth reason why businesses join is about cost. It's getting expensive out there. Gas alone has gone up 30% this year. And you need to look at ways of saving money. Because there are 22,000 chamber members across the country, we've, been able to know, we've negotiated some very good deals and discounts with some of our strategic partners. I'll give you some examples. The first is Shell. We've got a chamber Shell card. This gives you four cents off the pump price at Shell service stations. It means you no longer have to pay cash for your petrol. You can pay on account. And if you're spending $100 a week on gas, and I know I certainly do, that is a saving of $100 a year per vehicle, and it soon adds up. I'll give you one more example, Office Max. Now with Office Max, you can get up to 60% off some general stationary items. It's more like 30% off most of those items. But at 30% off, if you're spending $100 a month on stationary, and I know my department certainly does, that is a saving of $360 across the year. Add your Office Max discount to your Shell discount, 
and again, you have more than covered the cost of your chamber membership. And then we've got deals and discounts with Vodafone, with Liquor King, with Ford, with Oryx. We've got our own uh, procurement portal with HP and Microsoft. Because you see, businesses don't have to pay retail. Chamber members don't have to pay retail. And you can see the picture that's starting to form here. Membership is more than paid for with business savings. It's more than paid for again with a free training deal. And over and above that, we give you the ability to grow your business through promotional networking opportunities, to help eliminate some of the risk in your business by getting better informed and getting access to tools that will help solve the skills shortage. Now for most of you, that's businesses of 10 or fewer staff, it will cost $320 plus GST for a year to join the chamber. That is less than a dollar a day. And I suggest to you that is fantastic value for money. But you know what? I can do better. If you join tonight, and I'd love to see you all join tonight, I'm prepared to sweeten the deal. I will sweeten the pot. I will give you an extra half day of training for free. That's another $225 worth of training, but only if you join tonight. Listen, if you're interested, if you've got questions to ask, please talk to someone on the membership team. Membership team, please put up your hands. Please have a chat with them before you leave. If you are interested in joining up, please see us at the desk there. There's a piece of paper. Just give us some details. It's as simple as that. Listen, thank you so much for listening to me tonight. I do have a prize draw now. The prize is a free night of accommodation here at the Spencer and Byron. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Spencer and Byron for making this facility available. It's a fantastic venue. So the lucky winner is Paul Donovan from CDQ. Listen, thank you very much. Thank you for listening to me. I'd like to leave you with one final thought. You might be in business alone, but you needn't be on your own. I'm Daniel Manford. Please join the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you.